Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a 2011 Toro Dingo TX525 narrow track uh, mini skid steer loader. Uh, unit's in very good condition, has 789 hours. This is the Kubota diesel. Uh, it does come with a brand new 42 inch CID Extreme mini loader bucket. Uh, we're going to walk you around this machine, show you all the features and aspects, start it, run it. We'll start right underneath the engine compartment. This machine is powered by a Kubota. D902, um, three-cylinder diesel engine, starts and runs excellent, no abnormal noise, smoke, blow by, anything like that. We have had it in the shop, serviced it, changed engine oil, fuel filters, hydraulic filters, uh, that kind of stuff. Can't find a thing wrong with this machine. Uh, there's no aftermarket welding, anything like that. Um, it is all original. Uh, paint has not been touched up that we've seen anywhere. Uh, the red, black seems all to be original. Uh, as far as front engine cover and stuff, everything there is good and straight. Put a little tab up here on the hood. Hood in the front's good. Up here, typical of Toro. One crack here on this little side. Just pointing that out. Coming up front, again, no aftermarket welding anywhere on the tilt tower. Auxiliary hydraulics. Um, we'll give you the standard Toro Dingo uh, quick coupler. This will interface with Vermeer, Ramrod, Ditch Witch, uh, Boxer, late model Kanga stuff, Powerhouse Prodigy stuff. It's late model. Toro started that, and they are the leader in the industry. Matter of fact, Bobcat on their new MT85 now is offering Toro-style coupler. Um, Toro has always been the way to go, as far as I'm concerned, on the coupler. So, coming up front, brand new bucket, speaks for itself, uh, CID Extreme products. We're the Northeast uh, attachment dealer and distributor for them. If you would need a grapple, post hole auger, um, buckets, snow litter buckets, tree boom, Anything like that for the mini loader, pallet forks, we keep all that stuff here in stock. So coming on around this side, you're going to see tracks on this machine are about 50%, both matched. Um, no big cuts or anything like that in them whatsoever anywhere. Um, again, the rest of the undercarriage, 75% plus. We've checked all the rollers and idlers, everything there is very good on the bogey wheels. Cylinders, there are no leaks whatsoever anywhere. Um, I'll show you on this side real quick while we're talking about that. This cylinder here had been repacked. You can see they heated that to get that aluminum gland out, which is typical. We didn't do that. It was already done when I bought it. Um, but that cylinder had been repacked at some time. You can see there on this undercarriage side, matches the other side. There's no leaks on any of the drive motors. Serial number is a 311, which indicates 2011. And Toro calls these a 22323, which is their actual model number, but they are a TX525. Now, we actually ship on the Eagle in North Carolina. Um, I'm not going to mention any names, but he called me and he, he you know, loved the machine, but you know, he was a little disappointed that on the back corners there was some scratches. Well, he then referenced a used Toro Dingo to a vintage car that you know, he had purchased many vintage cars on eBay or on the internet, and people would point out scratches. Well, this is a used piece of construction equipment. Now, I want everybody to understand, Yes, there's going to be some scratches. There's going to be some spots here on the corners. It's got scratches. That's what happens with a used piece of construction equipment. Uh, show you on this side. Uh, I'm just trying to be more than fair, more than honest. Um, see that? There's scratches. I can't help that on a used piece of construction equipment. Right here is a couple little spots of concrete spatter. That's typical to a piece of construction equipment. This isn't something that goes in a man's garage and waxes and polishes every day uh, and doesn't use it. This machine was made to work. So uh, now that we have that out of the road, I'm just again, I'm being 100% honest. So um, up here on your control area, you have a lockout here for your joystick loader control to make it a dead man so that it won't work whenever you are working or servicing on the engine. Parking brake. You have curl, uncurl, float, down, up, okay? Nice thing on the later models, they had this nice armrest here, which really was nice. Throttle, glow plug switch, fuel, power meter. You're gonna, really, I love the Toro and the control. Very simple. Forward, reverse, right, left. Really, really user-friendly. Auxiliary hydraulics, forward and reverse. The other nice thing on the Toro, they have a backup plate here. So if you'd be backing up and you'd hit a wall, it shoves you forward to shut the machine off and coming back on you. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up at this time. We're going to run around here, show you that it works, does everything it's supposed to do.
see there if the video machine starts, runs, works, does everything it's supposed to do. Um, there is no oil leaks. It's a nice, clean machine. This is all original. Um, no smoke, had normal noise, anything like that. We put a brand new bucket on it. Not many people take the time to do what I do and actually dig it in the pile, show you the track spin. I did walk it up on there, so it's got good power. Um, you got any questions on this machine, let us know. Go ahead and price very reasonable. I do have two of them for sale right now in the narrow track 525 diesels. Um, let us know if you have any questions. We can easily ship something like this. However, you do need a forklift uh, or skid loader with at least 2,500 pound lifting capacity to get it down out of the truck. Uh, we will build a custom built skid to ship it. Um, if you want to come by and see yourself in person, I have nothing to hide. Come on by. It's the best I can do. Um, if you have time, give us a call. We'll be glad to help you. Check out our website, www.markmarksupplyco.com. See us on Tractor House, Machinery Trader, um, and on eBay at Mark Supply 88. Thank you very much for checking out Mark Supply Company, 814-658-3066. Uh, have a good day.